Hi and welcome to a mini tutorial about orienting the local rotation axes. If you look at the screen there's a little uh, shell shaped uh, made out of joints that I created and if you select the first joint it should be highlighted. Now what we want to do is figure out where the local rotation axes are pointing. So the way to do that you're going to select all of the joints in the chain so I did that through the outliner by pressing shift and highlighting all of them. Then you're going to go to display, transform display, and local rotation axes. When you click on it, it's going to show you the local rotation axes and their orientation. As we discussed, the x-axis by default <laughs> is the axis that goes down the length of the joint itself. But as you can see, the y-axis, the secondary axis, in some cases it's pointing outside, some cases it's pointing inside. So what we want to do in order to get this to work properly is actually orient them all in one direction. And the reason is, so again, with all the joints selected, if I go to my rotate Z and I rotate it, you see that it's twisting in a really weird shape. Ideally, if this was properly set, it would have unfolded like a spring. Okay, but right now it's actually not doing that. Okay, so how do we change these local rotation axes? Select your local rotation axes. The best way to do it is by pressing the F8 shortcut. Now, because of the software that I'm using to record this video, um, the F8 is actually uh, unavailable. So you can switch and select it through uh, clicking on this button up here. So if you click onto component types, your joint should turn blue. And in order to select these local rotation axes, what you have to do is go to the question mark that you'll see over here, right click on it and select local rotation axes. When that's enabled, you can now click on each one of these local rotation axes and then using the rotation tool you can start rotating them around to the direction that you want. So you can just simply spin them so it's facing outward. When you're done you go and you do that for all of them. Now you can do that and it will work but I don't trust myself to do that manually because again you know you might be off by a few degrees and that might be the ideal case. So there's a better way to do that and that's by using a little Python script that will do that automatically for us. So the way you do it is you go and you select the local rotation axes that you want to change. So I'm going to start with this one and then shift select this one. So you can see as they're getting selected it turn yellow. Okay so I've selected all of these and I'm leaving the ones that are facing out as is. And then I'm going to use a little script, which is here, and I'll copy it in the uh, description for you. So basically what the script does is it selects and put all these selections into a variable, and then it iterates through each one of these uh, variables and you can see it even prints which ones are being affected and then using the rotate command it will rotate them 180 degrees and it's using the relative flag and the object space flag as well so to show you how that works let me just minimize this a bit there's me on the side so with all my local rotation axes selected, press Ctrl A to select the script. I'm going to press enter on my keypad. And there you go. It did it all in one fell swoop and all of them are now properly oriented. So if I go back and select all my joints again and rotate it in the Z axis, you can see that it's now rotating the way I want it to. Okay, just like an unfolding whip. Okay, and then if you want to again disable all the local rotation axes, simply reselect them again, go to display, 
transform display, local rotation axis, and you're done. That's it. Thank you.